And from the rink to the court, the last home basketball game of the season usually means senior night for most schools. But tonight, another member of a local team was honored. Reporter Tiffany Littler takes us to Silver Lake for the end of an era. Lauren Ziegler has been coaching basketball for over three decades, and tonight he celebrated his very last home game. Lauren Ziegler started out as an assistant coach for eight years for the Silver Lake girls basketball team. And the rest, he took the reins as head coach. Come on, I need to stop right here. Let's go. He's also been an assistant coach for football, track and field, and volleyball. Up the lane, let's go. Come on, Taylor, get up there. Had a lot of fun, had a lot of great teams, a lot of great players, uh, a lot of current players that are doing a great job, a lot of former players that still live in the Shawnee County, Silver Lake, Topeka area, which is great to see them. And uh, it's just been a great job and a fun career. Five games, five games. Friends, family, former players, current players, and fans signed a banner just outside the gym congratulating him on this milestone. But when he's not on the court coaching these girls, he's in the classroom teaching business to them and other students at Silver Lake. I've been around Zig since I was in eighth grade. Um, he's a super positive guy. I've never heard a negative thing out of his mouth. He's just constantly trying to build other people up that are around him. It's just a very good experience to be around him and just have been involved with things with him. Coach Ziegler says some of his best memories on the court are the relationships he's developed with his players. But there's also some bad memories, what every coach dreads. Probably worst memory is every loss I've had. <laughs> he said if there were any negative feelings, he would have gotten out of coaching 30 years ago. But he never wants to let up, going full speed with everything he does. Now with retirement, Coach Ziegler isn't completely slowing down. He says he'll still substitute teach and says he'll cut his hours back to 30 hours a week. Tiffany Littler, KSNT News. I love that. 30 hours a week instead. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Just minus the 10. But coaches are so important when you're in high school and oh, yeah. growing up, especially, I mean, I played sports in high school and they really, they paved the way for you. And they kind of become like a second parent in a way because yeah. you spend a lot of time with them, especially in those smaller communities like that, you know, where they really, really do have a big impact. What I love though was in his interview, a lot more quieter than when he's out on the court. I, I was joking about <laughs> yeah. a lawsuit because I think he blew my eardrum out there. He was getting excited. <laughs> he was firing him up. Yeah.